what's up guys so today i'll be working on the a86 i'll be fixing the tack it has the, a uh, oem uh, tack for the a86 and the oem uh, 3sg computer the tack does work but it, it doesn't work correctly it just jumps up and down so all you gotta do to fix that it is install a 10 ohm quarter watt resistor and i'll be showing you how to do that and i'll be putting in the description of the link where I found this info with the picture so you guys can do it yourselves so right now I'll be uh, showing you what the tack does and show you why I want to fix it so let's get to it Okay, so right now the car idles high, right? That's how it idles. So if I accelerate slow, see? It just drops. And if I rev high, see? It just works up to like three or something like that. Hopefully we fix that today. All right, first things first. I gotta take the whole cluster apart. All right, let's get to it. So, after you take the cluster out, we gotta remove the black plastic. See the clips? One, two, three. And the other side, four, five, and six. You just pull the whole thing off. Then you gotta remove from the tack side five bolts. One, two, three, and the two in the white right there. There's two. You move those five you gotta come on this side you gotta pull the needle it, it, it was really hard i even caught myself pulling it out i don't know how but i did it so pull it hard up and it just comes right off and then when you let me show you real quick when you pull the needle off there's two screws here which are the very small ones here and then you'll be able to take this out. However, you can see it goes underneath the speedometer. So you're gonna kind of have to, you know, pull it up a little bit and just slide it out top and bottom. And you'll be able to pull this thing out. Once you pull that out, here's the tack motor. And this is what we need to fix. So we we have to replace this resistor here. Let me see if I can show you this top one. Not the bigger one, the longer one. So I'm, I can just cut it with a pair of uh, pliers, but I'm just gonna take it off. I'm just gonna melt it. And just pull it out. I'm gonna put some pressure with this. Once I got the pressure, uh. 
Okay, it's one end out. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, the whole thing just became easier. Okay, so. So, that's the OEM one. Now I'm just gonna put the same one, the, the new one, I'm sorry, uh, in the OEM position. Okay, so, I removed the OEM one. I didn't cut it, I just removed it. And, Replaced it right here, the top one. So I need something more. This one here. So I put it in the OEM position and I solder it so it looks OEM. It's just clean. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna put it back together and test it out. Let's see if it works. So I removed the, the old resistor and I replaced it with the new one. So let's see. Let me see if I can turn the lights here a little bit. Yeah, I don't see no lights there at all. All right, never mind. Let's see if it works. everything back together yes Let's put it back together. Here it is. Thank you guys for watching and uh, please subscribe.